Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. Uh, somebody reached out to us on Facebook. They live here locally. We're in Alaska. And they said that they keep a reptile collection. They saw that we keep a reptile collection. And they asked if we'd be interested in going to see theirs and then them coming to see ours. And we were like, yeah. So we Hi. are on our way over uh, to see what these people have. I don't know if what they're into, ball pythons or something completely different. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be awesome. And we will vlog our way through it. So uh, here we go. So we just got here. This is uh, one side of Dakota's collection. He, he doesn't want to be in the camera and that's okay, but he's got some amazing animals here. He's got viper boas, ball pythons, um, I saw a Dumeril's boa, West African file snake. Uh, we're gonna have to get that out if, he, if he's okay with it at some point here. Um, some Brazilian rainbows, Colombian rainbows, um, here's a Suriname red tail boa. He's got some of his feeders over here. This is one I'm super excited about. I've always wanted one of these. Uh, he just barely got this. Uh, so this is a temporary holding cage until he's got a bigger uh, enclosure for her. This is a, a female, you said? A female yellow anaconda. Beautiful. Uh, said she's a little bit uh, strike happy, but we'll probably get our hands in there at some point and <laughs> maybe get bit, but that is awesome. I'm really excited about that. So this is a blue tongue skink, as most of you will recognize. This is a, an Irian Jaya, um, probable female, it's still pretty young. There's Northerns, Easterns, and Indonesians as far as I know of. I don't know of any others. Um, super cool lizards, uh, really, really good to handle. So I know some of the lizards are so flighty that you can't even pull them out, but blue tongue skinks do great. These are growing on you, huh, Liz? They are. I At know, first, I, she was like, I never want blue tongue skinks. And now, every time we see them, she's like, oh. They're I so don't know. Cool. Well, they're like, <sighs> okay. In my opinion, they're like the pug of the reptile world. <laughs> they're cute. And they kind of have really cool patterns that you don't see on other yeah. animals. And I know people are selectively breeding them for more and more. Like, yeah. some are orange, some are pink, yeah, some are yellow. Big orange at the bottom. Right oh, we'll there. have to pull that out, too, Ooh, so we can yeah. compare. But he's more flighty. Okay, maybe we'll just open the top up. Yeah. African file snake. Do you know the scientific name of these? No. Wait, Mahalia crossa. Mahalia crossa. Yeah, I don't know. Look at that. It's like a dragon. Oh my gosh. I want one. Oh, don't go in my sleeve. Not that that's saying much. I pretty much want every reptile we ever see. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect, guys, when we came here, but Dakota has all sorts of awesome stuff. So far, nothing has even tried to bite me, which is always nice. This is a Suriname red tail boa. Look at the tail. Oh, it's like not even real. But it could go from these colors with almost like a lavender purple color to this just bright, awesome red. Oh, this is an African house snake. This is a colubrid. This is a baby. Um, it looks probably black on the camera. But there is like a blue color shining through. Super cool. And when we first pulled her out, she was running a little bit, but she's calmed down, it seems like. Spotted what? Scap sticker or something like that? I haven't even heard of these. This is a viper boa. Real rough scales, fat body. 
super oh cool. Oh my goodness. Look at that dark head. That's yeah. awesome. Oh my goodness, I want these so bad. I know, Liz has a has a gecko thing. Uh, look at that face! <laughs> look at that face! How can you not want them? They're adorable. Oh my gosh, and look at that color. Yeah, these are African fat tails, in case I haven't said it yet. Say okay, hello world. <laughs> oh man, we need some of these. And I love that bold striping, like that's just... I don't know Fantastic. anything about their genetics. Is it? Yeah, um, since someone's so young, I think that's one of the baby colors. So gotcha. He gets older. It'll change to something else. Yeah. And that's something else that's super cool. With ball pythons, they might fade a little bit, but there's not a whole lot of change between the babies and the adults. But with geckos, you can get some pretty drastic differences as they get older. Which is just awesome. Man, again, totally different colors. Uh-huh. Oh, so beautiful. Cool. And look at that tail. Oh, that's just <laughs> awesome. <gasps> yeah. You got a funny looking tail. I like it. Now what's the point if they're like wonky tails? Is it supposed to be like a distraction for predators? I think it's more like a camel's hump. Stores fat and okay. nutrients for if there's a, a free time with famine. A, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Mexican alligator lizard. Climbing his wall. Another one, climbing his wall. That was awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that, oh god. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Look at him. How would you breed these oh. guys? I think you just keep them together all year and... So you can, keep them, you can keep them year round and then yeah. you start getting eggs? I have those two. These ones actually give... Like, Live birth? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Look at that little face, guys. Isn't he? I'm gonna darling? have to look more into these. I've never. This is one of the yeah. areas of reptiles I've never looked into at all. But They're man, really would he come to me? I don't have any bugs, but. Oh man, that's so cool. I'm gonna be Do it. That. Oh man, I'm converted. <laughs> that took so much work. <laughs> <laughs>